to finish fifth in the Big 12 South at the start of the year. OSU finishes the year the winningest team in program history. It's awesome, man. It'll be in the record books and be the team. You know, they got 11 wins. And you, you can't explain it. It's great. I'm kind of sitting there pinching myself because you know, you guys celebrate. I'm just, you know, happy for the seniors. They, uh, they started this whole deal. And, uh, you know, this, uh, this feeling's unreal. I couldn't be more proud for the seniors, for the football team, and for Oklahoma State. <laughs> In all three phases from start to finish, this Alamo Bowl belonged to the Cowboys. The defense forcing four turnovers. That's something we stress in our end is the, is the turnovers, but uh, we're very proud of the way they played. I think the defense just did that. They uh, attacked the ball and just forced turnovers. On offense, a record-setting night for Justin Blackman, complete with a little showboating. You know, I just wanted to have a little fun, and, and that's all it was. Well, I don't like to taunt, but... He, you know, he's just cutting across field and having a little fun and proving that his ankle was, was back to normal. <laughs> the question now, where will Blackman be having fun next year? In Stillwater or the NFL? Oh, we don't know yet. We'll see. Uh, I'll sit down and talk to my family, and uh, we'll make that decision when, when we need to make it. Same decision awaits Brandon Wheaton. I'm kind of having a hard time taking my pads off. You know, it's... Uh... Yeah, this feeling right now, like I said, I, I can't read it enough. It's uh, pretty special. Whedon and Blackman will make those decisions on whether or not to enter the NFL draft by January the 15th. From here in San Antonio, where the Cowboys are Alamo Bowl winners, Kate McFarland, 2 News, works for you.